Cancer. Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. And this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Cancer placement. Cancer, keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Cancer out there. Wow, the first message we have is, my access to you is being restricted. Wow, so what I'm actually picking up on is that this is a masculine that you either blocked Divine Feminine, you're either in no contact with, or you are being extremely intentional about how you communicate with them, okay? They definitely feel the effects of you kind of putting this blockage up. Um, I'm getting this as verbally though. So you could have, you know, held back on the communication with them. You could have pulled your energy back um, just recently here. But yeah, your person is feeling extremely restricted in how they can access your energy. And this is triggering them at this point in time, okay? The vibe feminine, I feel like you're at this place in the connection where you feel as if you cannot get over a hump with your person. There could very well be something extremely cyclical as it pertains to the, the communication, but I'm getting that the way in which you communicate with your person, there's a lot of static there. There's a lot of misunderstandings. You feel as if you cannot come to a solution around a problem or an issue that is extremely important to you, okay? And I feel like you felt defeated at one point. So the only choice you were faced with was to withdraw your energy. And that's what you did. Your person definitely feels the effects of you doing this right now. Um, you may have even blocked them on social media. They feel as if they don't have access to you. Visually, okay, um, verbally, yeah, they, they definitely feel completely shut out at this time, okay? But I'm definitely feeling, if this is resonating with you, this is something that you could have been intentionally. I feel like you wanted this to send a message to your person that you are serious at this time, that whatever this issue may be that keeps arising within your connection is something that is extremely serious to you. And I feel like they got the message, okay? Let's get the next one here. Wow. The next message we have is karma hit me instantly. Yeah. So something definitely happened. I'm feeling like when you cut off communication with your person, I'm getting that for some of you, you may not have cut off communication with them, but you definitely expressed how you felt. And since you voiced your opinion, there's been a shift within the dynamic here. You're really trying to gauge how your person is receiving this information. Um, how it is that they're planning to move forward after receiving this information. You're wondering if, you know, they receive some type of sign from the universe. Something definitely happened to your person and they're viewing it as karma, okay? Um, and this happened almost immediately to the point where it completely shocked your person. You could have even said something that's going to happen to your person or, you know, maybe you'll realize it, you know, after the fact or you said something to that effect and your person may have very well brushed you off. They may not have believed what you said, but it definitely, whatever you said came to pass, Divine Feminine, and they're viewing it as their karma for not, you know, um, being as attentive, for them not really addressing whatever this issue is, or for them not really um, valuing your emotions or whatever it was that you expressed to them in that moment here, okay? So because you you are you blocked your person or because they don't have access to you visually, you may be wondering if it got through to them. I definitely feel like the universe sent your person some type of sign. Um, but they're definitely viewing it as karma. They're a little bit shocked as well. Um, this definitely has them feeling intense emotions because they feel as if you are extremely powerful. You may definitely be a divine feminine where you say things and they actually come into fruition. So you have to kind of be a little bit careful about how you express yourself because you're someone who is, I'm picking up on a very powerful feminine energy where the things that you say really do come to pass here. Um, and you have to be extremely mindful about how it is that you express yourself, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. 
We have, I hope it's not too late. Hmm. Yeah, so I definitely feel the energy of this masculine wanting to come towards you, kind of wanting to explain themselves, kind of eating their words as well. Whatever conversation you had, there was some type of exchange that you had with this masculine where they totally either brushed you off, they totally blew you off, you felt ignored, you felt as if whatever it is that you said to them did not get through to them at all, okay? But immediately after that happened, something definitely got their attention. And now it's if they, they're feeling extremely impulsive, okay? Even a little bit nervous. It's like they're nervously rushing in towards you because they've been awakened not only to your power and that the fact that the things that you say do come into fruition, but it's almost as if now they're replaying whatever it was that you said to them and they're realizing that you're not joking, okay? They could actually lose you, okay? And now it's almost as if they assume this position of, of wanting to kind of impulsively act, okay? Their energy may very well be up and down because they're trying to figure out what would be the best approach to come towards you. You definitely are standing firm on whatever boundary you set between you and this masculine. Um, but they're definitely watching you. They're paying attention to you. They're definitely trying to read into your energy. They're trying to, if they have access to you over social media or if you have, you know, mutual friends, they're playing, they're paying very, very close attention to you, trying to pick up on your energy, trying to gauge if you're in a good mood. Would this be a good time to approach you? Is it not a good time? Okay. So just FYI, this masculine is watching you. If this is resonating with you, they are definitely watching you. They're paying attention to you, um, but solely for the reason of, of coming towards you, okay? They're trying to figure out what would be a good time for them to approach you. I definitely feel like they feel a little bit defeated at this time, okay? They definitely feel like whatever it was, this issue that stood between you two, they definitely feel like it's not worth it. It's not worth you cutting off your energy from them here. Okay, that definitely caught them off guard. I feel like this masculine, you very well may um, give them, you know, chance after chance. I definitely feel a cyclical energy. Like this is something that you both have went over over and over again. You feel as if you were literally talking to a brick wall maybe. Um, and really confused about why they were not able to understand your general concerns here. Um, and now your person is looking at it like, wow, was it really worth all of that extra energy? Um, is it really worth me not having this energetic access to my divine feminine? Yeah, they don't feel like it's worth it, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow, the next message we have is, tell me how you feel. Yeah, this masculine is definitely coming towards you solely for the purpose of communication. They wanna hear how you feel, okay? I'm definitely getting that whatever this energy is, this is something that you both have tried to approach from many, many different angles, and it always feels as if you don't get anywhere, okay? And I'm getting that, the way that your person is going to come at you may catch you completely off guard. Um, but I feel like they're coming in with, with, with a new fresh energy, okay? And I'm saying it may catch you completely off guard because they may contact you as if nothing ever happened. Their energy may be extremely light. They may be extremely, you know, happy, um, extremely confident. And the first thing that you're going to think about Divine Feminine is you know, we have to get over this hump. You know what I mean? Like we still have issues that we need to address here. But I feel like this masculine is, is really at this place where they wanna understand how it is that you feel divine feminine. Um, and they don't want you to mistake their energy as them not being serious. Um, they just would like to get to a different place with you at this time. So I feel like the way that you think this communication is gonna happen, maybe you feel like this has to be a serious discussion. Even if you're meeting up with your person, just be a little bit lighthearted, okay? Something about this masculine, it's, it's giving me like really, really light energy. They love to see you in a lighter energy, okay? They really don't like um, 
whatever it is that they're doing to make you feel this way, they don't like to see you in this type of energy. So they genuinely wanna know how it is that you feel, how it is that they can improve, okay? But the communication, something about the way that you communicate needs to shift here, okay, is, is what I'm getting. I'm getting that you may be expecting to have like a really serious, a really stern kind of conversation with them, but they wanna approach this in an extremely lighthearted manner. Okay, so maybe that's something that you will be open to, okay? Um, it doesn't mean that you can't express what it is that you feel divine feminine. You can still come through very clear, very concise, very firm, getting your point across, but it's the energy of the conversation. Maybe they don't want it to feel, um, you know, really stuffy. They don't want the energy to feel, you know, really, really intense, you know, as if they can't really respond in a way. Something about the energy being lighthearted and free flowing in a way that you can really express your emotions to your person and they can express their emotions to you, okay? Because I'm, I'm picking up that there's like a lot of pressure around the communication. It's something about, it's not necessarily what it is that you want to say, it's how it's being said and it's how the communication is being set up, okay? So that's, I guess that's just something that they would like you to consider, okay? Let's get the next message here. Oh, we have, I hope you like surprises. Yeah, this masculine is really coming through with like, this light energy. I feel like Divine Feminine, they want to catch you off guard. You may very well be in this energy where you're extremely, you know, firm. You block them, maybe on social media. Maybe you're at this place where you are extremely serious about how you move forward in this connection. And your person has assumed this really lighthearted energy. They want to catch you off guard. They want to talk. They want to laugh. It's like they want to talk about the problem, but the way in which they want to do it is going to completely throw you off guard, okay? They're feeling extremely impulsive. It's almost as if they're running into you, um, feeling as if you're leaving them or you could be pulling away from them or they can really, really lose out on your energy, okay? This energetic bond that you have, this connection that you have. That's something that they don't want to do here. It's almost as if they've had like a refresh of energy and they're happy, okay? Um, even though this may be like a rocky moment for you, your person is kind of excited about coming towards you. They want to surprise you. They may send you flowers here. They may um, randomly invite you out somewhere to talk here and you may be feeling as if, you know, this conversation may be, there may be tension here. Your person is filled with this love energy. Um, it's almost as if they've been infused with this fresh new energy as it pertains to addressing whatever this problem is, okay? Um, so just be open to that divine feminine. This very well may be a, a shift in the way that you communicate. Um, maybe this is your masculine trying to infuse the connection with a new energy where you both can kind of feel safe to express yourself without having so much tension around the actual conversation or around emotional expression. Maybe they just want it to be a lighthearted thing. I feel a really good energy with this. You may have a lot of history with your person. I'm feeling like a solid bond, like a friendship here, um, where you both feel really, really close with one another. You're able to really express yourselves. But some somewhere along the journey here, something about the communication became extremely tense. Okay, and that may not normally be your dynamic. I feel like your person realizing that um, and you initiating them, you know, um, realizing this because you restricted their access to you in some kind of way. So yeah, your person is coming through extremely excited. Can't wait to get in contact with you. Can't wait to speak to you. Can't wait to hear how it is that you feel here. I think that they just feel really good about being back in your good graces. Okay, so yeah, this, this is beautiful energy here. Beautiful energy. Let's get the next message here. Yeah, the next message we have is your energy is magnetic. Yeah, this masculine is, is addicted to your energy. It's almost as if he, you know, this masculine may have stopped dead in their tracks 
when you cut off um, their access to you, Divine Feminine. Um, they may have thought that you weren't going to do this, okay? May, I'm getting something extremely cyclical where, you know, you could have been back and forth about this for a while and you finally put your foot down. And this kind of really made them assume this position of wanting to be extremely impulsive with their next action. They've been weighing this for a while, okay? And now some, some, I don't know if they received some sign from the universe here, something is telling them the time is now for them to approach you. But they wanna do this in a way where it will surprise you, where it will catch you completely off guard. Just the element of surprise, just think about that type of energy here. They wanna infuse the connection with a new energy. They wanna take it in another direction here. So this lets me know that this masculine is being extremely intentional about how they approach you. They don't want to approach this in the same manner that they have done in the past, where they feel as if you can't get over this hump here. Um, I feel like you may be establishing a deeper bond here. You may be actually establishing a deeper friendship with this masculine here. And this is going to open up uh, a different level of communication, a different level of comfort, okay? And also a different level of emotional authenticity and connection. So this may be something that you felt as if your connection was missing. Your person definitely agrees with you on that. And they're coming in here to change. This is going to catch you completely off guard. I feel like extremely light energy. Like I feel like I just want to smile right now um, because I feel like that's what this masculine energy is feeling. They're excited about this. Um, they may have been planning this for a while. Just the whole just the whole element of them catching you completely off guard is like really, really exciting them at this time. They're really hoping that you're receptive to this um, and that you'll kind of match their energy. So if you receive impulsive communication from your person, they're randomly um, just extremely excited. They have a new energy, but even though you're going through some type of tension in your connection, okay, just really, really, you know, be lighthearted about it. Be open to it. You know, allow them to lead and follow their lead and see where it goes. Because I definitely feel like this will be a totally new energy um, that your person is bringing towards you. Okay? So these are the messages that I have for you all today. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.